Hi guys, my name is Arvansh and thanks for watching my the old videos where you have learned about the cement account point protection manager and I have kept it my the all the videos with the tutorial series. So you can go to the one by one videos and watch it. So if you have not watched my all the old videos, please go please pause this video and go back to watch the other videos is important because directly you cannot jump the end of the series and uh, if you are not watching the old videos you will not be able to clearly understand about the semantic endpoint protection manager so today's in this video i will show you how to set up the backup and how we can take the semantic backup so it can be the scheduled of in the emergency like uh, you are planning to upgrade shut down or any activity is there and you want to take the semantic backup how you can set up the immediate backup and uh, how you can schedule it your semantic backup backup is a very important if your console is the crashed or any issue is there without the backup you cannot restore so if you have not set up your backup please go back and check your infra and set up your backup okay guys so let's start this video how we can set up your semantic backup so i log in in the semantic manager and i am on the admin i clicked on admin after the admin you have to go to the servers under the server select the database so backup will be the under your database so this is the my database scpm database for my primary site so click here and here is the option like added database property backup uh, backup database now and uh, your transition rebuild the index now okay so for i will show you in this video how we can set up your backup so added the properties and here is a like your journal settings so uh, this is your the database name if you want to change it you can change it but after you built your infra don't change it because it will be a mess up your with the database and so many tables will not be updated and here is a database maintenance task okay so uh, if you want to uh, translate the logs how your logs will be updating your um, semantic manager you can set up as the frequently every four hour every two hour every one hour or the daily it's up to you it's up to your infra how you can update your logs to the database it's like your the maintenance task a rebuilt index so how frequently your index will rebuild so if you know something about the sql database uh, then uh, you should know the rebuilding index so it's a very important topic it's kind of the maintenance task of your the uh, sql database so uh, this point also is a very important to uh, rebuild your indexes if you are not rebuilding your uh, your um, table size will be increasing increasing or your index will be something mismatch and after some time one year two year you will be facing the issues so uh, start your maintenance in the your sql database for the uh, rebuild index you can choose your time according to your company standard so now let's go to the log setting so this is the log setting where the semantic manager will contain the logs in their database okay so i need a thousand entries expire after 30 days so these 10000 entries will expire after 30 days or you can set up it as like a 30 days or 60 days or 90 days or oh, it's up to you so if you are increasing the days obviously your database size will be increasing but again it up to your the company how many logs they want to contain uh, like a one month two month or the three month it again is the setting for the logs risk log setting so delete your risk log after 60 days or you can set up as a 30 days or anything else so this setting is up to you how you can set up it so let's move it to another topic the backup setting so server backup so where you will see in the backup my the back, uh, semantic manager is having their by default backup folder it's under the semantic folder database and the backup so let's see where it is okay so i am already under the backup i have not set up the any backup to show you guys how we can see the backup here okay so i have set up my backup like number of days 10 10 backups are not required just two backups are more than enough so how it will work it will 
keep only two backups last two backups and old backup it will delete so in this folder you can see only the last two backups all backup will delete it so this setting how it will work and the schedule the backup scheduling the backup is daily at what time your backup will happen uh, start at 2 am 3 am 4 am it uh, you can start the backup out of the business hour else it will be causing an issue so in night 2 pm if your semantic manager is online then only it will backup will start obviously when you are in the infra you your semantic manager should be online on 24 hour okay guys so this is how you can set up your backup and let's see the other option about the backup so backup um, backup database now if i'm clicking now it will start it asking are you sure you want to start the backup at this time yes i want to start the backup and where it will store the backup this folder i shows you and it will give you the date and uh, with that uh, with the complete date it will give in on this date it was stored and the file file type will be the zip okay so just click and now the backup will start you can go here here should be some folder we'll be creating now okay so now this backup is starting and we can check this file keep on it will be increasing So here is a on time backup initiated by SCPM user admin. So here you can see it clearly on time backup means I started uh, my own. It's a manually backup I am taking. So it called like a on time backup. And if it is a scheduled backup, so it will shows here scheduled backup initiated by the SCPM. Here it's showing that my the username which user initiated the backup. So if the in your company some employee has started a backup, so you can track easily who has started the backup with which ID they using. Okay, so the backup is started and let's see how much time it will take. What is the file size now? I don't have much size here, so it will complete soon. So logs will come here once the backup will done and the file backup name will be it's taking on 13 December two thousand nineteen thirteen December one twenty what time it was one twenty I started my the system time is something mismatched so it's showing one twenty two so that's why it's it will give you the which year month date and the time you started that backup so it's very easy to calculate at what time which date how old this backup are okay guys uh, even i'm not sure how much time it will take to complete this backup and you can see here once it done this file size will be changed and here you will get a one more logs like the backup is completed so it will take couple of minutes it's again up to your the infra size sometime it's taking one hour two hour two hour also and uh, now i started i don't have the much client but i have the like um, normal database so again it will take at least 10 to 15 minutes or maybe it can be the faster it's again up to your ram size and um, the system speed so once it done you can see on this path the backup is completed now you can see in it now the my file size is 1.6 gb and again it will be changing once the backup will done okay so uh, it's a good good news on the backup uh, finished successfully because i don't have the much client in that so that's why it's completed very soon and the my backup size is almost 1.6 gb okay guys so in this video you have learned how you can set up the backup or uh, how you can take backup immediately if you want or how you can schedule your backup here okay guys so thanks for watching this video and
please keep watching the videos if you want to learn the semantic manager completely i will be publishing more and more video on my youtube channel so please subscribe my channel and keep watching the videos thank you guys see you soon